Chris with Detroit Wrecker. Today we're going to show you what we're always talking to you guys about, how you don't have to slide the bed all the way forward because of the lack, because we don't have body locks and it all is locked in automatically. I'm going to show you today what it looks like when you don't run the bed all the way forward. See the gap that we have here? Now typically this truck you wouldn't have to roll it this far forward on the bed, but if you have an oversized vehicle or a long overhang or you can only get the back on first, because whatever your situation is, you don't have to run this bed back all the way forward to the cab. You can ride it right here and it's going to be just fine. Now if you got more overhang than what we have here, or you feel you need a little bit more space in between there run the bed back a little bit more. This equipment is real versatile as far as that goes. So, Today we're going to show you how easy it is to change the winch hoses on our equipment. Here's your winch hose one, winch hose two. They just run, simply run down this channel here. They run through that pulley and hook up to the bottom of this plate right here. You loosen the pulleys up, get the adjustment out of them, take the hoses right off, Hour you're done. Got both winch hoses changed opposed to about eight hours. I'm going to show you how to change the wear pads on the low loader. Right here, you take these top bolts here, you take those out, this whole assembly slides out. Now you're going to want to have the subframe down in the bed in its rest position. You take those bolts out, this whole thing slides out. It only wears on the bottom side of the pad. So once you get that wore out, then what you'll do is take it, flip that pad over, put it back in there, and uh, keep on running it. Now we've had guys that have been running the same pad for three years. They run their trucks hard every day and haven't had to flip their pads yet. Here's our control rod system. This is one rod that runs all the way through in this channel with one wear point right at the valve body. Instead of 15 per handle, we got five. So we're gonna give a, you know, we're giving a lifetime warranty in our control handles. If uh, in 15 years you finally manage to wear out that clevis, clevis pin, don't worry, we'll send you some clevis pins for free. For free. Right here is where the clevis pins attach to the valve body. That's our only wear point. And it's an easily serviceable uh, position here. <laughs> 